Um, I, I think my first impression um, uh, after hearing Admiral Mullen uh, talk is um, really um, a, a sense of awe at the incredi incredibly complex um, set of security problems that our military um, are, are dealing with in this part of the world, both in terms of geographical scope, in terms of dealing with um, uh, you know, uh, problems of uh, stability and security and insurgency in areas that we have not traditionally been involved in. After 9-11, everybody knows uh, about our in involvement in Afghanistan and af afterwards in Iraq, but we've also been involved in the Horn of Africa and um, increasingly uh, deeply involved in Yemen now, uh, right adjacent to that area. So our, our engagement in the area has um, expanded in terms of geographic scope and in terms of the complexity of the issues uh, that we deal with that no, no longer just uh, are on the security um, level, but cut across all the instruments of national power, diplomacy, um, um, military, uh, economic and development issues, as well as the informational domain which uh, Admiral Mullen uh, talked about. So it's, um, I, I don't envy him. He has tremendous uh, challenges that he deals with on a daily basis, as do our um, um, military uh, men and women in uniform every day. I would like to just um, flesh out a few points that um, kind of build on some of the points and, and, and kind of sharpen some of the points that the Admiral made, as well as fill, fill in some of the gaps. The first thing that jumps out at me is that, and, and I think this point uh, was, was implicit in some of his comments, but uh, I, I think uh, could be made stronger, is that I think this coming year will be a major turning point in a number of areas in which we are engaged in the region. He did talk about Iraq, the drawdown, and elections, um, and, and you know it's, it's kind of been a, a kind of a commonplace that every year we say the next 12 to 18 months in Iraq are crucial. But really, this, this coming year will be crucial simply because um, the elections entail the potential for increased uh, violence if the elections turn out a certain way, and it's, it will occur at a time in which we're dramatically drawing down our forces. Uh, that's the first thing. Iran, um, we will, the, the, this year will, I think, determine the um, future and tell us whether the domestic opposition has a real fighting chance at um, um, really um, 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 affecting change in the political system in Iran. Um, we'll also know whether our, diplom our nuclear diplomacy will uh, be successful or not. And then finally, there's the issue that um, no one, uh, kind of it's the elephant in the room that nobody mentions, the, the possibility of Israeli military action and how we deal with the consequences of that. In Afghanistan as well, the next 18 months will be crucial in determining the trajectory of our engagement there. And then finally, um, developments in Yemen um, in, the, in the coming months will have a dramatic impact on uh, regional or at least peninsular stability. Um, a, a while ago, when asked about um, the possibility of Israeli preventive military action against Iran, um, Secretary of Defense Gates said that um, that's a, a third war in the region is the last thing we need now, and, and Admiral Mullen has said this would stress our forces. I think we have to acknowledge we are really al already, because of what's going on in the Horn of Africa and Yemen, uh, our military is dealing with two plus wars, uh, kind of a two, two, two plus, um, and, and we are still looking at the possibility of uh, an Israeli military strike sometime this year, which will further complicate matters uh, uh, for us. Um, with regard to another point that he, may, he alluded to, but I'd like to just kind of underscore, is the, 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 the balancing act, the, uh, uh, balancing our commitments with our, our uh, assets. And I would just like to focus on the Iraq-Afghan uh, couplet. Um, since the very beginning of our inv involvement in Afghanistan and then Iraq, our involvement in both areas have had an intimate reciprocal influence um, on each other. I think it's um, hard to avoid the conclusion that the U.S. was in part um, um, encouraged to invade Iraq by the swift and rather easy victory in Afghanistan and the success of the Bonn uh, meeting afterwards, which uh, resulted in the creating of a, uh, uh, of a new government and kind of uh, led us, at least some senior decision makers, to believe that the same success could be repl replicated in Iraq relatively easily and with uh, little cost. On the other hand, the, the, the preparations for war in Iraq and ongoing military operations in Iraq sapped um, or kind of, you know, burned up all the oxygen in the room and sapped a lot of resources from Af Afghanistan, which could have been used to um, stabilize the situation there and perhaps uh, led, led to a different outcome than we are facing today. Likewise, again, the success of the surge 
um, in Iraq have encouraged the belief that we can perhaps replicate um, the successes, at least the short-term successes we've um, uh, enjoyed in Iraq, in Afghanistan. And looking forward, I would venture to say that how the drawdown, the elections and the drawdown in Iraq this year go will affect um, our ability to, or the administration's ability to carry forth its policies in Afghanistan, both in terms of the impact that perhaps success or greater instability in Iraq might have on domestic support for the, for the war in Afghanistan, as well as perceptions of our enemies, uh, the Taliban and Al-Qaeda, about um, the American staying power and, and the ability, uh, their ability to achieve their objectives. So uh, Iraq and Afghanistan will continue to um, affect a reciprocal influence on each other for the coming, uh, for the foreseeable future. With regard to Iran, I would summarize this coming year as follows, and to fill the gap, as Jim said in, in, in the Admiral's presentation. We're either going to be de dealing with um, crisis and coalition management in terms of how do we deal with the, our, our demands for support for the domestic opposition, as well as how we deal with our efforts to put together a coalition, if you will, to kind of um, ratchet up uh, diplomatic pressure on, on Iran. Again, that's not quite Admiral Mullen's lane, but it's, it, it, has, it has an impact. Um, we're, we will also possibly be dealing with consequence management, uh, the potential um, aftermath of an Israeli military strike um, on Iran, which will inevitably, in some way or another, um, impact on uh, America's security posture in the region, um, and then we'll have to deal with the possibility, since uh, people such as myself believe that to succeed, preventive action cannot be an event, but it has to be a sustained policy, um, after, after the first Israeli action, does the United States then um, um, support f future uh, actions um, uh, or, or does it say never again, that this cannot uh, occur again, all the while dealing with the um, aftermath uh, of an Israeli strike and, 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 the, and the implications that uh, could entail?